Hi, I'm Vicki Brown and this is Miranda Brown. Hi. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that came in the mail. A long time ago I would send extra money in for my mortgage on top of what was owed. Say it was a thousand dollars, I would send them like a thousand fifty. Whatever I had extra every month. And I was always sending it towards principal. So at the end of the year I had this problem. I was short on my escrow and then they sent me a bill and it was over a thousand dollars and in their terms they can collect it all at one time or they can add it to each monthly payment for the next following year and raise your payment. Well neither one was a good option for me at the time. I really didn't want my payment higher and I couldn't really afford to pay the thousand dollars well it was over a thousand all in one amount. So after that happened to me I decided that was never going to happen again. So what I did was, I started sending extra every month, but I applied it towards escrow. So the key to this is, you're sending extra every month, you're not lowering the actual principal on your mortgage, but you're not getting messed up at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, well, every year I've been able to get money back, simply because I've been over on my escrow. Now, at the end of the year, when you get the money back, you can choose to send the whole entire check back to them as principal if you want. Normally, I just put it in an account because taxes come due and things like that, and I just keep it as a cushion. And then the next year, I do the same thing. But usually, they lower the amount of the new payment, and I continue to send what I was sending the current year. So here's an example of my mortgage. I don't know if you can see it. But what happened on here was it said current payment was 1173 New payment, because of the escrow issue, lowered it to 1162 Now that's not a lot of money each month, but for the whole year it adds up. And considering that I send them $1,225 each month. So I send like $51 extra a month currently. So next year when they change it and lower the payment and I continue to send the $12.25, I'm actually paying $62 extra a month. And all of that's going to escrow and it's like a little savings account even though I don't make interest, but I don't have a problem at the end of the year either. So this year they sent me a check for, I'm not sure if you can see it, $759. Now, I can choose to send that back to them and apply it towards principal if I want. I never have, however I could. So, in essence, you're just making those payments to them and at the end of the year, you're not having to owe more when you've already put a lot out of pocket. And then, if you choose, you can apply it towards principal anyway. This is just my little savings tip that I found out on my own and I did because I had a problem one year and it's no fun to be in that situation. So I've never had a problem since. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of that type of tip, but I have many more where that comes from. My name is Vicki Brown. My website is fighttheforcesofevil.org and this is Miranda Brown. Ha! Bye! Bye!